Hey guys, welcome back to MarkDillon.com. If you're watching on this, this on YouTube, please make sure you click the subscribe button and help me get to 15,000 subscribers, uh, which, you know, I just think is so cool because I did not think I would even get a thousand subscribers. So I appreciate all of you that have signed up. So um, on to today's question, which I think is, it's pretty interesting because I think um, probably a lot of gay men have felt this at some point. And it's from Jamie. He says, hey, Mark, hope you're doing well. My question is, do you think it's normal for a gay guy to think about having sex with a woman? Uh, I've never thought about girls sexually growing up, but lately I've been watching straight porn and sometimes fantasize about being with a woman. I'm 27, if that helps. All right, uh, Jamie, I am doing well. Thank you for asking. I hope you are, too. Um, yeah, I, I think what you've you've described is uh, reasonably... Uh, uh, common. I don't like the word normal because very few, th I, it, it's hard, it, that, that is such a relative um, term. I think it's better to talk about the frequency with which something happens rather than whether it's normal. Um, I, I know in some ways that's arguing semantics, but I think normal has a kind of a connotation that if it's not normal, there's something wrong with it. So I, I'd rather use the word common. And, uh, Yes, I do think what you've described is uh, is reasonably common. Um, it, it could be caused by any number of things. Uh, I know a lot of gay men who watch straight porn for one reason or another. Um, I, you know, a lot of the, the gay guys that I've been friendly with have either been with women in the past or, or have thought about it. Uh, it could, and like I said, it could be caused by any number of things. Uh, I don't know you, so I can't psychoanalyze you. But more importantly, I'm not a psychoanalyst, so I would have no business doing that. Uh, but I, I have some theories. Um, I think sometimes um, in a case like this, it could be the manifestation of a, I don't know, repressed sense of inferiority. Because when you think about growing up, you know, all of all young men, gay and straight, are kind of taught that the ultimate expression of masculinity is to meet a woman, uh, have sex with her, procreate, raise a family, have kids, all of that stuff. And that's like the ultimate expression of masculinity. So sometimes I think for gay guys, there's this constant lingering sense that somehow they're not living up to their masculine potential or what they should be as a man. And, and these kind of feelings could arise because of that. At least that's my you know, opinion. Uh, or it could have absolutely nothing to do with that, and you could just be curious. Um, and I think sexuality itself is an incredibly elastic thing, and I think most of us have the capability to be intimate with um, w with either sex. Um, that doesn't mean we don't have a preference or, or um, you know, anything like that, but I think we have the ability to, and I, I don't think that it's unnatural for someone to be curious. I mean, I think that our sexuality is something that um, very often we're taught that is not something that should be explored or uh, any of that. So, um, you know, I don't think that we tend to think of it as something that we're inherently curious about. But uh, I can tell you uh, with almost 100% certainty that everybody is curious sexually about something or someone. So uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, I don't think you should uh, you should in any way be you know leading a double life. I don't think it would be right to know that you have an attraction to men or preferred attraction to men, and, and go meet some woman and lead her on and you know so that you can hook up with her, or date her, or whatever. Uh, but I think that if you if you wanted to experiment with your sexuality and explore, uh, there are plenty of women who are perfectly comfortable with bi guys. Um, or I shouldn't say plenty, but there, there are women who are comfortable with bi guys, uh, and you could certainly uh, look for a woman who fits in that category and explore your sexuality that way. Or you, this could be something that you, you simply are curious about within the realms of your own mind and imagination, but you have no desire to actually act on. <laughs> Either way, I don't think it's that big of a deal, and I don't think that you should uh, be too concerned about it. Um, I've, I've watched plenty of straight porn. Uh, I, <laughs> I can tell you it's unlikely that I will turn straight anytime soon. So there you go, Jamie. Thank you for your email. And guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.